Well, most wine-savvy travelers stepped on the gas and drove right past the city of Napa. That, not too nice, was it? No. And Sunset Magazine, they also had a, uh, a quote. This was in the Sunset Magazine. On a balmy evening along the revived banks of the Napa River, a couple pauses to contemplate a menu composed by an iron chef. Just up the, up the block, glasses clink in wine bars and shoppers fill the aisles of Tony Boutiques. Everywhere you look, signs of effervescence on streets that used to be as still as flat champagne. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, recreational opportunities. And I'll, I'll show you more about what, what that design is because it's come a long, a, long, a long way. This also shows really well, you know, what we've been working on. We've been working on the wine trail. I think they like being downtown. I think they liked, um, I think they thought it they got good exposure for, for sure. I think 90, maybe 95 of the businesses downtown, it was a plus. Those businesses that backed up to that parking lot <laughs> struggled, <coughs> struggled. So, uh, and the, the issue, you know, people say, take the whole parking lot, make it bigger. Um, the issue when you make it bigger, people can go faster and there's more accidents. So every, you know, this is like a risk-reward kind of activity. So, uh, 